This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting Media Compression Basics in Apple Compressor. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to compress audio either as part of a video file or as a standalone audio file. If you have high quality audio and you don't want to change it, enable audio pass through means the audio will be passed through in whatever form it's in the source movie. It's not going to compress it at all. But I do want to make the file smaller, so I'm going to uncheck this. Here's the secret. If you have created a movie where you have stereo effects and sound effects and music, then you want to have it be stereo. Sample rate determines high frequency response. Change the sample rate to 44.1. Both 44.1 and 48 exceed the limits of normal human hearing. And by changing the sample rate to 44.1, I drop my file size by 10%. So I can lower the file size with no perceptible difference in sound quality. Then click on the Change button, and if you are stereo and it's set to 44.1, and remember for compressed files there's no advantage to 48, then you want the target bitrate set to 128. But many of us are creating movies where there's only a single speaker. It could be sports coverage, it could be um, a podcast, my digital production buzz is an example, where it's only one person talking. Well, there's no reason to output a stereo file. Yes, if you're going to YouTube, YouTube expects stereo. But if I'm putting up to my website for people to download, don't make it stereo, make it mono. You've now cut your audio file size in half. And if it's just a person talking, whether it's a guy or a girl, human speech does not encompass the full range of human hearing. Set the sample rate to 32. This encompasses the full range of human speech, but not the full range of human hearing. And again, with a person talking, you can't hear the difference. Every one of my webinars, all digital production buzz, is compressed at a 32K sample rate. Then, click Change, Mono, 32, and set the target bit rate to 56. Click OK. A one-hour stereo file is about 620 megabytes. As soon as I switch it to mono, that makes one channel disappear. It's gone to 310 megabytes. By switching from stereo to mono, I cut the file size in half. By switching from a sample rate of 48 to 32, I've taken 33% out of that. It takes it to roughly 200 megabytes. So I've reduced my file from 600 megabytes to 200 megabytes just by these two settings, and they have not changed the quality at all. Then when I compress it, the 200 megabyte file goes to 25 megabytes. I went from 650 to 25, and you're not going to be able to hear the difference. That's why paying attention to what these compression settings can do makes a big difference. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar presenting compression basics in Apple Compressor. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for webinar 251 by the way when you need to stretch your training dollars membership in our video training library saves you money and time you can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only 1999 that's more than 1900 movies hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects plus premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.